welcome back everybody to another episode and happy Wednesday uh, it's uh, hump day so um, yeah a lot has changed and <laughs> we have spent a lot of money so we're gonna quickly go over here and kind of discuss some things so as you can see our four-wheel drive is over there and the wife's driving it and that is because well we did spend a fair amount of money and and that money a lot of it went into actually equipment not not just that field so we bought our neighbor's field out there it is a extremely large field we'll quickly jump the fence because you know mr hops over here but yeah it is a pr pretty big field actually now you now you're thinking to yourself we're, we're way undersized for equipment for this field yeah you're telling me we had to disc it yeah it was uh there was fortunately there was uh uh cotton cotton's the word cotton on it before that so we disked it up and that took me way too long but we got the wife there seeding canola in it because you know that just made the most sense we might as well make a boatload of money and because we had a boatload of money well yeah we bought a super bee trailer so our super bees are going to be hauling way more grain for us than uh our previous trailer would have so that's why we also upgraded that but and, and you've probably seen that over in the distance already so yeah this is actually kind of where a majority of our money went we traded in our gleaner and everything like that and got ourselves a new holland cr 8.9 well 8.90 but we're not gonna fire her up she's brand spanking new we got her dropped off the other day and she's got the big top hopper on her lots of room for games and fun in that so we purchased this combine and that straight cut header and it is now raining okay call the wave shut it down right now so i just pulled in the planter there into the shed quick uh the wife shut it down so we're gonna go quickly pick her up from the field so she doesn't have to uh, walk so far um our goal for today's episode ooh, that voice crack uh is to obviously get seed put in the ground so we got corn to put in now as well as canola that's what i was gonna go do is start putting in corn but we didn't quite make it that far so um yeah and get canola put in and then we're gonna try for getting our oats in as well because that is a necessity and maybe also get first cut done in some fertile i mean spraying some herbicide obviously but yeah we'll uh quickly go pick up the wife and then go over a few more things well it is definitely raining we can tell that she's starting to actually pour it's been raining now for almost an hour so that's fun but yeah we're gonna continue on with before we jump too far into things is we did get ourselves this i think this one's a 13 meter new haul and straight cut header with uh it's a trailer in its own so that's gonna be pretty handy for us and then we decided to change up our feeding setup a little bit for the cows and that would be we now got ourselves a conveyor system I, th I thought with the money we had this would be a way more productive way of doing it and it it is like it really is than loading it with a bucket so definitely a big thing for us to have purchased and while we're kind of over here as you guys can see we got a decent amount of silage still sitting in here but compared to what there was we've actually chewed through quite a bit uh, in terms of straw for bedding we've burnt up all of our old stock but we still have all 10 bales of straw in terms of hay well we burnt up all our old stock of hay and one hay bale so not too too worried about it but i'm gonna be a little worried this year uh we'll obviously get more hay so uh we're not gonna be too worried about that but if we continue to grow this will go to corn and we'll put that to grass or hay in maybe alfalfa or something we're not 100 percent sure yet and yeah because over the winter time obviously uh we ended up calving in february the girls calved out yeah february i want to say it was early february they calved out so 
Uh, we had 15 that were getting ready to... 15 cows, the other 15 were heifers. The heifers have hit maturity, so they are going to be artificially inseminated. And, well, we have our calves. So we got 15 calves now. Uh, unfortunately, this barn doesn't register calves, so they, they just show up as big cows. But, yeah, we got 15 calves for us now. And, as you can see, they are well-fed and well-bedded. We've also got a decent amount of slurry sitting there and a good amount of manure, but still no manure spreader and we we're we're gonna we're trying to find a used one. I don't wanna spend the money yet. You know, I'm trying to save up for obviously upgrading our four wheel drive, our disc, our drill, all that. And I'm sure we will be able to do that after we sell all that canola this uh this winter time. Because I'm pretty sure canola is a winner. Yeah. But yeah, that kind of sums it up for what's changed uh, over the course of time here. So nothing too crazy, just some bigger gear and a massive new field. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and... Um, yeah, I wait out the rain. It might not be till tomorrow we're in the fields with the amount of rain we're getting. So we'll play it by year, I guess, and uh, we'll see you guys back when... The weather has uh, sorted itself out. It is just before 9 o'clock here this morning. Yeah, we got a decent amount of rain. We are hitting the fields. Uh, pretend that never happened. <laughs> Forgot how wide I was, I guess. Yeah. Um, the wife's already out there. I went and dropped her off. Oh my god. I uh, went and dropped her off quick. <laughs> it's a struggle today, I see. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna. She said the ground. The ground did feel a little soft, but we're gonna go ahead and crawl on into the cornfield, anyways, and get to planting some corn. Yeah. Yeah. No, the fields are uh, a little muddy. Oh well, we'll fight it. off this last little bit like so and then I'm gonna go and give this tractor a nice bath because it, uh, it it definitely needs one now and then I think we might go and visit the wife on the field and see where she's at with the canola canola seeding yeah, and uh, come harvest with just one of these big combines, it's going to maybe take us a little while, but I think it'll all be worth it in the end. So yeah, I'll get this girl a bath, and then we'll see where see where we're at over, uh, over in that field. So the wife there, she's still picking away. There's not, I don't think, a whole lot left. Of course, that versatile is just eating fuel, but I... I hoping we got enough over there and good enough to finish off that field but I figured now would be a great time to go and set up the sprayer to quickly spread some liquid 
fertilizer on the cornfield. Because that little bit of manure we added, it just not... Actually. Actually. Now that I come to think of it. Just give me a second here, you guys. Yeah, so in st instead of using the liquid fertilizer, we're going to use free fertilizer. Uh, yeah, so when we first spread, we put the application rate to uh, not very high due to obviously not really knowing what we were going to throw on for corn. But now that we got everything set up, as you can see in the top left, the top left, we got the manure sense on this thing, so it's kind of figured out how much we need depending on our soil samples and our GPS all combined together. As you can see in the bottom left, uh, we, we know the nitrogen level we're aiming for, so we can drop that on manure. So we're, uh, we're gonna spread some liquid manure on here instead of liquid fertilizer even though it'll just sit there if we just continue to do this but I, I, I like it we're, we're uh, definitely uh, cheaper this way so yeah we'll uh, continue on spreading manure on here and I'm not going for like a hundred percent field coverage. It's uh, it's okay if we don't get a hundred percent field coverage, but yeah, we'll uh, finish this last pass, and then that will be good enough. We've got our manure spreader in the case back in the shed there, but since we're uh, got a free time here, we're gonna go ahead and mix up another batch of mixed ration for these girls and I'm going to quickly go over a few things with that as well so we'll go over that obviously when we're over by the mixer and I'll show you guys the new setup so before we start filling everything up I'm kind of going to go quickly over this so I mean not a lot of people are watching this for this reason otherwise I'd make a video on it but maybe we will in the future if enough people ask about it but so as you can look on the left there under the Y button there is current recipe and we have it set for dairy cattle so if we rotate through there we got pig food and there's your listing for pig food and what it requires and there's your standard recipe for total mixed ration in game which we don't use because it uh, does not give our cows what they need there is the current realistic mixture so this is like what you'd see on a high-end dairy I mean I, I looked over it and everything that's in here is pretty close to a tea but it also depends on the guy and what they're feeding and all that so now we go into beef cattle so if we were running just strictly beef or if we took out young stock or old stock and wanted to finish him off this is kind of what you finish him off on for weight purposes so steers and heifers that are going for slaughter essentially and all that and then we can uh, young stalks so this would be your calves so this this is like I'd say about a f almost a year old to just after a year old probably get this how many months are now I'd have to really think on that exactly if I want it but a rough estimate so we're kind of a year old would get would get this um, I'd probably just go with the beef stock anyways but then yeah back to dairy cattle so this is the mixed ration we uh, we give to them and there's um, reasoning to it and all that uh, what performance in the milking range is why you kind of understand it get a gist if you guys kind of want more of an in-depth video we can uh, definitely give you guys a more in-depth video on that so we're just loading in the last pallet of everything we need from in here but 
Um, yeah, we're going to be going to town in the near future. We're kind of okay for mineral feed, but for, uh, what's the stuff called again? Grain wrist? Grain grist? <laughs> Grain grist is what we're going to call it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it 100% right, but we're down to one pallet, so we're, uh, we're going to need to be picking up a few pallets of that for them for sure. Oh, yeah, she's got a few passes left and then she's done, so we're going to go over and show you guys here the new uh, new way of doing things. So we've got our hay mixed in with it all now. Uh, we did take the tractor over there to get ready for the brewer's grain, but we're going to fill this up to about 20... 21,000 liters of silage, and of course, yeah. Oh, right here, I might know the issue. There we go. Forgot to completely turn it on, but we're going to fill it to about 21,000 liters, and then that last thousand will be for the brewer's grain. So I try definitely not to go over the 21,000 mark. So I kind of fill it kind of close to the back. Just enough so I can pull away at a close enough time. So yeah, like that. That's close enough for me. Close enough. Oh, got a notification. How to fertilizer, I'm assuming. Yeah. Well, uh go over here so that's kind of the new setup it's a lot nicer it's a lot easier and it saves us a decent amount of time so we'll get this mixed in and, and then obviously uh, I probably could just text her to oh spill don't spill text her to come to the yard and I'll fill her up but yeah we'll get her all sorted here you guys and I'll be back in a quick second well the time is it's uh it's getting pretty uh, late into the video and I don't want to make it too long and well we got a good day's worth of work done and a lot when we went over so uh, we will obviously get some oats put in the ground there for next episode we'll do some spraying as well and take on first cut because that's got to get done sooner soon here too so We'll get all that done next episode, and that'll probably be another full video. And we'll stay pretty busy with the cows like we always do. And she'll get finished up on the whole uh, seeding canola here right away, but won't have much to do after that until it's time to put in oats and whatnot. So we'll uh, end everything there, you guys. So thank you for watching, and I hope you all did enjoy the video. So stay tuned for uh, for more and hope to see you all in the next.